Here we are. Claire, welcome. What do you enjoy most about construction? I think I like the, the ever-changing ever nature of it. It's like every day is quite different. Um, it's the challenge of co coming in, trying to win jobs. What's the point of the dif difference? And then if you win the jobs, um, making sure you deliver them efficiently and then all the problem solving. And yeah, I guess I'm quite competitive in my nature or I was growing up and yeah. What's the best piece of life advice? Mine would be to always have a holiday booked. That's some good Get advice. you through the job. So I haven't booked any holidays yet. What's the most mature adult thing you do? Mine would be that I have a wine subscription. Do you have a wine subscription? Every month to the door. Is it na naked wines? Nah, fancier than that. Good pair days. Yeah. Same question. What's the most mature adult thing you do? I think, well, I was told to say beforehand, it's uh, the gardening I have at home, but <laughs> I think I did that for about a year or 18 months and now I've lost interest in it, so it's a bit, it's dying a bit. Um, but yeah, that's probably the most adult thing I do. What makes a winning team? I would say communication, got to be talking, and then fun. Yeah. Are you in a winning team? Mm, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, is pre-construction fun? It's a bit like when I going to answer the er earlier question. I like the challenge of it. I like the strategy of trying to win it. Uh, when you're winning, it's, it's great. You're on top of the world. But then you can go through um, a dry spell of a few months and you can't win anything. And it's, uh, it's very frustrating. But then um, you get back on, you win again, and you think it's great. So it's, uh, it's some kind of drug, I think. Or it's got similar... Um, it's like putting on your multis. Putting on your multis? What's your multis? You win for a bit, oh, you win and then you get too, get too excited and you go back down the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some losses. <laughs> <laughs> What's been the most nerve-wracking tender you've submitted? Most nerve-wracking? Um, and I submitted it one minute before it closed, so very nerve-wracking there. Was the Centre for National Resilience. It was the quarantine station. Um, I think it was like a $100 million tender, so big dollars to put in. What's the most nerve-wracking one at Alchemy? I reckon someone coming up. Oh, Big next job. week? Yeah. No, we can't talk about that here. No. Leading on from that, what do we have coming up this year and what are you most excited about? Um, well, I don't know if I can actually say exactly what we've got coming up because uh, there's NDAs with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. um, but we've got a lot of exciting government work coming up with lots of different departments. Um, I think what I'm most excited about is uh, in my three years at Alchemy, we, we've, the, the larger jobs have, uh, haven't come as regularly as um, because we've been growing, we haven't got all the opportunities. But over the last two or three years, we've really proved ourselves. And in the next six months, we've got a really consistent flow of good jobs that we're going to price, some larger projects, and it's exciting to uh, work out how we can put some bids together in a window. Yep. So a bit of a fun one. Mm -hmm. Claire, running a bid team is like herding cats. True or false? True. In what way? Mm. <laughs> Don't so, quite cats because you got to crack the whip. So it's more like. So how would you stay calm, crack, cracking the whip, and and not piss <laughs> everyone off? <laughs> that you know. Uh, and I say calm. Yes. I just say, say you in all the emails. <laughs> <laughs> and last one for you. What's your best piece of life advice? Um, I think my best piece of life advice is uh, always have some goals, whether they're short-term goals or long-term goals, and don't take yourself too seriously. It'll all work itself out in the end. <laughs>